the Joe Rogan experience. You know, he became, uh, he was It once for uh, Stephen King's movie It. He was oh. the It. Oh, he really? Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you afraid ever, to watch those. Have you ever seen the, the no. original the original TV one? Which it was, it wasn't as scary as the, yeah, that's Tim Curry as Pennywise <laughs> in the 1990. Wow. Yeah, I would never watch that. That's and it's a, it's a good example, but it's not. No, like, I like him over there. <laughs> I know, but that that like one, clowns. the the TV 1990, it is not that scary. Any of them are scary. My mom used to read the book, and she'd have it. It was like this thick, and my, we would always tease her, like, "You finish it yet? Like, how? What is that about? Like, it was just we didn't understand it. And then the movie came out, and we were like, "Yeah, we're not watching that." I used to have to take uh, the tea from my house to uh, Boston. I lived in Newton, and I'd take it to Boston when I was a teenager. Okay. And uh, What do you mean the T? The T. It was like uh, the Boston version of the transit system. Oh, oh, the T. Jesus, That's Joe. what they call it. The I tea. drink iced tea. I'm literally like, what, the Boston Tea Party? Sorry. Where are we going? Sorry. I thought like, you know. Okay, I'm you sorry. Know, we have the L. So I would read sorry, a lot we of have the L. Yeah. Stephen King books. Mm-hmm. And I read like basically every Stephen King book from like... Lawnmower Man, I, I like some of the short stories, yeah, all obsessed. the Richard Bachman books. Mm-hmm. I read all of them, but it was one of the weirdest ones. It, it's a weird, yeah, it's like, and it's what, giant. It's like what is going? It's on a weapon your, for you on the what's team. What's going on in your head, man? Wow, <laughs> what's going on in your head? That you're inventing He's this frightening fucking clown that eats kids. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, if you look into that, would that? I don't know. That's scary. Stephen I, King had so many books like that. Didn't he have a lot of trauma around him? Like, For sure. Well, you know, he grew up in Maine. It's hard living up there, okay? <laughs> and he grew up poor, you know, you know, he yeah, didn't yeah. have any money. Like he I I'm, I read um uh Stephen King on writing. It's an amazing book because it tells you uh, not just how he writes and what he thinks about writing, but also it tells you about like sort of the history of his career and how difficult it was. To, and, and when he sold, I think it was Carrie. It's been a while now, since Carrie I read I the love. book. But I think Carrie was like the first big sale that he had. I think <laughs> it was. And and all of a sudden he was wealthy. And, and the yeah, fact that, that they were giant. trying to like look at the numbers and they thought the numbers were wrong on the mm-hmm. first check they got. They're like, what is happening? Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a crazy story because, you know, he was struggling. He was teaching and he was writing these books. and you That's know. how writers do. They struggle like that. But then you strike gold like he did. Carrie was great. The dirty pillows. So funny. Did you ever? <laughs> he, I read... When she went to the prom and her boobs were out, why do you have your dirty pillows out? <laughs> dirty pillows. The fuck? That's one of those things that it's almost better if you just read it. I used to think that was a, a stupid idea. Yeah. But the, there's a way that he describes things in the book so it's open to My the imagination. My mom says the same thing. She's like, oh, this whole scene lacks because blah, blah. You know, and I'm like, whatever, lady. Not there's, reading. It's, it's like if someone could capture it all visually, that's mm-hmm. better, right? But can they Why capture it, it visually lost? the way that we... I don't know. I think it's... Uh, there's certain things it's like the way a writer writes like a guy like Stephen King like you feel the you have access to the thoughts that these uh characters have right you have access to everything you have mm-hmm. access to not just like their actions and how it plays out and you can't even actually see it so you have to imagine it which sort of stimulates your imagination but you're also getting access to their very thoughts right there's l- weird parts of writing that like are almost more descriptive than seeing it because when you're seeing it and hearing it it's like it's pretty cool right you watch a great movie with great effects and shit and you're seeing it and hearing it it's cool but when you're reading it there's a weird thing that's happening where you're you have to fill in the blank and it stimulates your mind in a different way and stephen king was the master of that yeah and it's like when if you read his shit and then you watch his movies you're like the movies are like he made some God damn amazing movies. Yeah. No doubt about it. Like, Carrie freaked me out. Ca- to me, Carrie was detailed enough. But if I was reading the book, I probably would never sleep. I think that was a movie, uh, that was a book, rather, he doesn't remember writing. I'm oh, pretty really? sure. I'm pretty sure. Was he on Adderall? Uh, no, he was, Sorry, co- that's he was a coked callback. up and he was doing, he was drinking like crazy. I think that was one of the ones. I think it was mm. Carrie and maybe uh, Christine. Oh, Christine's a, great. Oh, maybe it was Cujo. Is it maybe the C Ooh. word? 
What's the C word? I think it was Cujo. I think it was Cujo. <laughs> he got stuck on C. <laughs> I think I got stuck on a C. Dude. But there's so many good books, man. But uh, I think it was Cujo. I think Cujo, mm. he wrote when he was so high and so fucked up, he literally just doesn't remember writing it. It is funny just to get stuck <laughs> on a letter. I'm a I don't bad, know why. Listen, I'm not a fucking, <laughs> just, I'm, I'm not the oh, person What can we call to. this? What can we call the dog? Here it is. Uh, Stephen King discusses Cujo in On Writing, referring to it as a novel he barely remembers writing at all. That's it. There it is. King wrote the book during the height of his struggle with alcohol addiction or killing it. Right. He goes on to say he likes that the book movie and wishes he could too. remember enjoying the good parts as he put them on the page. Wow. It's a great fucking book, though. Cujo's That's what I, amazing. Reading that book, I think, would be insanely crazy because, like, even watching the movie, you get frustrated. You're like, do this, do that. You know, the like. The movie's not good. No, yeah. It's not good. It's not the best, but you're like, why didn't they just do this or why didn't they do that? But maybe in the book, it it, it had more tension or something. What I was going to say is the movie's not good at expressing the layers and layers of fear and recognition right. that this dog who was your lovable pet is now going to kill you. Yeah. It, it, it's it's too hard to do. It's too hard to do in a movie. It's it's too hard to do. It takes yeah. too much time. If you're reading a book, it's like what's what's the average amount of time it takes to read a, a book like Cujo? Like how many pages is Cujo? I'm going to say let me guess. Uh -oh. 396 pages. No. Uh, 309. Really? Oh. Damn. Oh, oh maybe I'm. Um, I was off by hundred. <laughs> it's terrible. Off. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was getting to the three well, and the nine. It, uh, to be honest, three hundred nine. It wasn't I, that bad. I was bad. thinking higher. I was thinking like five. Because oh. I don't know why, but I was thinking it was way higher. Well, then you get into like the stand. Right, because I'm thinking those of all books. those books on my mom's shelf. Like they're the stand is really mm -hmm. long. How long is the stand? Have you ever read that? I've never finished that. I'm not a big reader. I've, I've read quite a I'm bit kidding. of it, and then I bail. Yeah, I don't. Eight hundred and twenty-three. Eight hundred and twenty. Yeah, no way. That's what I'm saying. That's in the uncut version, so three hundred more pages. Holy shit! You know what got me into reading though, like that kind of story, that style mm -hmm. of book is The Hobbit. My mom or my stepdad, or can't remember which one, gave me The Hobbit in like the seventies. Okay. And I read that, and I was like, "Whoa, what a crazy book!" And then there was a movie. There was like a Hobbit animated movie that came out. In like the late seventies, it's like whack, old school animation. We can tell people were drawing it. <laughs> you can see their hands. Yeah. You're like, why are we? That's what got me into those kind of books, though. <laughs> but uh, I remember going through puberty. My mom gave me Little Women, and I was like, Is there a movie? <laughs> there... I can't. Little Women. Yeah, I think right? I did read Little Women. There was like a three box set or something. Well, when I was a kid, when I was stuck on the train all the time, headed into the city. There's no uh, phones. You didn't have a phone. So right. you, you had to read a book. Mm -hmm. Like there was no other options. So it was like for me, it was always like either Stephen King shit or, you know, whatever, whatever I could find that was interesting. Watch the entire episode for free only on Spotify.